lighting for you. Okay. So we're gonna like infinity. Yeah. As she approaches infinity, and then we're gonna change the sound. And then we have to integrate this. Is this integration by parts? This may have to Okay. And sometimes I have trouble like deciding which one's U and D, um, DB. So like in this case, is it possible to integrate E to negative two S? Yeah, there's a little acronym that you can use anytime that you try to figure that out. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna write for a second. Okay. I wait. Yeah. Tells you how to who is the favorite for you. Okay. Okay. So, this is the favorite. This is the least favorite for you. So, okay. This stands for inverse trig. Stands for log. Log. Algebra. Trig. Okay. Yeah, so since that's the least favorite, that'll be your DB. Okay. Cool. So. Um, okay, so I might want to separate this because okay, I'm gonna just do another mic. I don't even know when they reach it. Through the box. Kind of changes, it bothers me. <laughs> yeah. Um oh wait, and again and I can integrate that, so Um, so now I have to evaluate, so to use, um... I would recommend a little algebra first. Okay, so I can take out negative one-half? Uh, I would take out the larger negative denominator. Negative one-half, and... I would take out a four. You would take, take out a half. If you take out a half from this one, it's still going to be a fraction. Yeah. So I would take out the four, the larger denominator, and then what else would you take out? The e to the negative two x. Factor that out, what would you like? Okay, so, um... So... Just box. What happened? You said hold up, I said see. Oh! No, that's what I'm already going to have done with command Z. Oh, okay. So we get a two? Plus you. Um, and then X plus one. Isn't that a lot easier to deal with? Yes, that looks that looks a lot easier. Well, I'm gonna create a little space by zooming out a little bit. Okay, because okay, yeah, I'm not really huge. Okay, uh, so now we start always the left of the screen. I want you to get rid of that negative X one. How do you get rid of that negative X one? Um, we can bring it out to the bottom. Mm -hmm. You said you want me to start over here? Yeah, just so we can write all the way to the right. Okay. That's all. Just everything down. Is that is that a valid move? Move. Oh, it okay. is valid. That negative sign should be signed the whole numerator. The numerator. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. okay. Now let's evaluate that one. Okay. Plug it up. If it's minus, it becomes a plus. So the exponential function, let me see how that looks like. I, can, I remember this. As it goes to infinity, that's infinity. The bottom that's part correct. is infinity. So what is it? Infinity over infinity? I mean, that is correct. What do you do with infinity over infinity? The L'Hopital's rule? L'Hopital. This is very true. Okay. I don't know why you keep on writing so big. This is up to you. Uh, is e to the zero one? Yes, it is my close friend Juan. Oh god, I hate little dolls. Not that bad. All you have to do is drive the top and then drive by the derivative of the bottom. Okay. Is it der so, derivative of the top and derivative of the bottom? <laughs> okay. You're carrying <laughs> What says my headphones are not that loud, so? Oh, okay, let's see. Turn it up. Hold on a second. Go right for a second, okay? Okay. There should be volume more rise out there. And then we can turn it up. Okay. okay. That? okay. That's, that's better. Yeah, because one of the, one of the headphones is not. Okay, yeah. Yes. There's a new one. So I just haven't had a chance to set up yet. I got oh. a Bluetooth on this guy. Okay. Maybe. Okay, now, now the other ones are known. I don't know if it was. I don't know. Okay. They heard you talking about it. Like, what? I'm here. <laughs> All right, what do we do now? Okay, that simplifies to negative one fourth e to the two t, and then we can do another L'Hopital, but that's just going to end us up at the same place. When is the only time that we that we take L'Hopital? Well, the only time is when we have infinity over infinity, but now we have one over infinity. Or zero over zero. Zero over zero. Zero over zero. Okay, so here what you've done is you alter the limit, and mm -hmm. when you watch my limit videos, you, you should know that anytime you alter a limit, what do you have to do? You have to reevaluate the limit. Okay. So limit e versus infinity. I plug back in infinity. What does that whole thing go to? Uh, one over infinity. Good. Huh? What is any finite number over infinity? Uh, zero. So it uh it converges. Oh, did you have a thing? Yeah. It's like intimidating. What does? Oh, God, intimidating. <laughs> All right. Would you like to screenshot this? Uh, I can take a shot. 